On tonight's video, we're gonna talk about my 2007 Toyota FJ Cruiser with 317,000 miles and then some. It's still climbing. It's a six speed, I bought it from the original owner. We're gonna talk about the backup sensors, how they work. We're gonna talk about the fuel, what I've been using, regular to premium, what's the difference. I'm gonna talk about some tips on how to de-ice your door to get in when there's an ice storm and just a general car winter tip. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike the Bald Adonis and I buy and sell cars as a hobby and I bring you guys along with me showing the pros and cons and my overall impressions of each vehicle I buy. Now, I bought this FJ Cruiser a few months ago. I bought it from the original owner. I did the first video with Ken. He talked all about the truck. My second video was the five things that I did not know before purchasing an FJ Cruiser. Um, this, this, what I'm gonna talk about today, should have been included in that, but I didn't know about it at the time. And I'm kind of embarrassed about it, to be honest with you, because being a car enthusiast, a car enthusiast and a car person, um, I buy several cars a year. I buy, on average, 15 cars a year. Um, I can't figure out everything on every car, so I, just basically get in the car, I drive them, I enjoy them, and if I have to figure it out, I'll figure it out. Most of us, we do not read our owner's manual, and if we do, I mean, if we do, usually it's on the shitter, right? Taking a nice big dump. Let me, let me read the manual. Oh, 15 minutes later, you know everything about your car. <laughs> but seriously, a lot of us also just Google it, or go onto YouTube and type in how to use settings in our cars. So that's probably the most popular thing. But anyways, being a car guy, I should have known simply just take a peek in the manual why my reverse sensors didn't work. But it's kind of interesting about this vehicle because most cars, if it doesn't have a backup camera and it has sensors, you put in reverse, beep, 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 beep. This one has a separate switch. So when you put it in reverse, first you hear a little beep, car going to reverse but there's no beep, 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 beep when there is that distance. So you have to go to the switch, yeah. press it in, and then Lights it works. On. So I was watching Reverse. a video about the truck and that popped up and I was like, no way. So I went out, tested it. And I'm like, all right, it works. I actually thought I had a bad backup sensor. Um, and again, I didn't care because, you know, the trucks for sale. I buy these cars, I drive them, I sell them. I'm not gonna learn every nuance, you know, every little nook and cranny of the vehicle. So I didn't really care, you know? But today I did test it out uh, some more. I have my friend Greg, I used my house. So let's take a peek. No? No, you're running me over now. Yep, okay, it just went off. Ah, okay. When there's somebody walking behind the vehicle, it does not detect unless you're actually right on the sensor. And when I left this house, I was backing up to the fence and I got pretty close. I don't know how close I got, but it finally worked where I was kind of sweating. I'm like, am I gonna hit the fence? Beep, 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 it worked. I'm like, cool, got home. As you can see, I had the drone up in the air and everything else. Get, I'm, I'm backing up into the garage and it's three feet where the distance is. So I was pretty happy with that. And um, that's one thing I didn't know about the FJ Cruiser. I'm not a, that's my very first FJ Cruiser. So now let's talk about the fuel that I've been using. The past few months, gas, well, I shouldn't say past few months. All of us have been struggling with fuel prices. All of us, I don't care who the hell you are. Um, and to put premium fuel in this truck that it requires because it's a 07, 07 to 08 or 09, I, I'm not too sure, I forget. Um, this is a single variable timing engine and it calls for a premium fuel. I'm not paying $5 plus for premium fuel. So in goes the regular fuel. I drive it, you know, I'm getting like 230 something miles per tank it's terrible, right? So that's like 15 miles per gallon. But um, I also don't fill it, fill it to the top. I put like 50 bucks in, 50 bucks 
pretty much fills the whole tank. So now that the price has gone down, I've been filling up with premium fuel on the past three tanks and I'm paying $3.69, I believe, at Sunoco. Um, I've been getting a little bit more on the on the gas, I, I think. It could be in my head, just, just like anything else. You think it might be doing better, but the last one, I think I can stretch it out to almost 250 miles to the tank. But then again, that was, you know, not totally filled up and not totally um, E either. So as soon as the light goes on, I might put the gas in it. So I don't know how much um, fuel that it, extra fuel that I could have actually used. So um, I filled it up this time and I'm noticing how smooth, how quick, I shouldn't say how quick, it feels peppier, it really does. Um, it just, it just, it's, again, it's so much smoother. It just rides so much nicer. I, I, I'm, I'm a big believer in better fuel if you can afford it. Um, but if your car does just call for unleaded, then just put the unleaded in it. But this calls for premium and I do feel the difference. I really do. Next thing we're gonna talk about. We're in this huge storm at the moment in the United States. We got lucky here in New England, not too much snow, but we went from 55 degrees with 70 mile an hour gusts. And uh, that was yesterday. This morning it was eight degrees. And today we're gonna go out 12 degrees right now and start that truck up. This is the first time I'm starting up in the very cold. So let's, let's take a look. There you go, Toyota quality right there. Starts right up and no issues. I let it run for a little while, uh, took it for a ride. Thing runs awesome, I love this truck. 317,000 miles, jeez. Couple more tips. It's winter time, like I just said. Open up that hood, check your fluids, check your oil, top it off. The most, that's the most important thing. The second, I think, at this moment, besides the radiator fluid. All right, so it's the third most important thing, maybe the fourth. It's an important, important, important fluid that you need, windshield fluid. When the salt is kicking on onto the windshield, you keep using the windshield fluid, and next thing you know, you run out. You're on the highway or someplace that, that you can't pull over. That's scary. I've gone through that a few times in my life, and uh, Try to, try to put a bottle in your trunk or your back seat or something. Just make sure it's topped off. That fluid is very important. Just get that topped off. That's just that tip. Now the other tip I think is a pretty good one. It's raining, it's snowing. Your door is stuck because it's frozen. Here's a tip, Windex. Go, th go along the edges of the car, the door, the handles. That's what I should be saying. Go along the door frame and go around the door handle itself. A lot of people actually, because when they pull the door too much, snap the handle. It happens all the time. So take the Windex or get some rubbing alcohol, dilute it with some water and just spray the hell of it. Spray the hell out of it. Let it sit for about a minute and the door should open up. All right guys, so that's a couple right, of tips. So I haven't bought any more cars. I'm still looking. I just looked at a uh, Saab 95 Sport Combi yesterday. Too much work. Nice car, but it's been sitting for two years. And for me to go through the whole thing, the repairs probably out, outweigh buying the car itself. So I passed on that. And I, it's unfortunate because I've been looking for a Sport Combi. And I'm right now I'm trying to negotiate on a Mini Cooper S that has some little goodies on there um but i am looking i'm still looking you know hopefully by the end of the year so I'll, I'll be able to buy another car so that's what to look out for buying and selling more cars guys if you're new to my channel take a peek when i was a kid i went to prison for five years three months for a first time drug offense i was 20 years old i talk all about that when i came home i decided to do steroids heart attack all the health 
problems from doing steroids. Um, no, don't do it. Uh, health issues, cause other people have conspiracy theories with Gary from the gym. That's some old videos. I've been doing this for over five years. So take a peek, see what you think. All right, guys, until the next video, ball down us out.